Hello, I'm Jerome Payne and welcome to Forever Skies, which is available as part of the Steam Next Fest. As always, I have a link in the description down below if you want to go and check this one out for yourself, wishlist it, all that good stuff. So what is Forever Skies? Forever Skies is a first-person action survival game, return to Earth, destroyed by an ecological disaster, fly a high-tech airship, expand, rebuild and repair it, scavenge resources to survive, face the dangers of the surface as you'll hunt for a viral pathogens to cure a mysterious illness. So think Raft but in an airship in the sky, and you're kind of almost there, really. Uh, seems a pretty cool game. Um, we're just going to get into it. I played it for about 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. I built the airship and started moving. Once you build the airship and leave, you then have 20-minute timer, and it starts counting down. Uh, this one is slated for 2022, is all it says. I think I could have sworn I read somewhere that it's coming out in November, but I, I could be completely wrong on that, so don't quote me for that. So there is an intro, so I will let that one play play out. Right, so there we go. So we have crash landed. Uh, the premise of this also reminds me a little bit of, it wasn't a very good TV show, but um, the premise of it was good. Uh, it was like the 100, um, where they were all surviving up in a space station orbiting Earth, and then they sent the 100 down to like see whether it was, um, see whether it was like safe for humans and that sort of thing. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Obviously the world is not safe at the moment, as you will see in a minute. Uh, let's break the door open there it's locked there we go as you can see it doesn't look very safe out there does it but there we go so we're going to read this let's have a read of this so uh it went silent for months and then this is one of the signals and then went silent again none of us uh, know what awaits you there but but if there is a chance that uh, you found a virus then maybe maybe we can survive find the virus samples at all costs the fate of all of us depends on you the ark well, i think it was called the ark actually in the hundred as well wasn't it I say, one a very good TV show, but the concept was a good one. Um, so yeah, we're up in the sky at the moment, and yeah, all this stuff is blown about. We can actually harvest that stuff. We'll get to that in a bit, but um, yeah, we got to go this way, and we got to find the airship and rebuild it and that sort of thing. But let's get going. We've got down in the bottom right corner there. Sorry, the bottom left corner even. Uh, we've got our energy. We've got our health, hunger, and thirst, as you always do with these survival games. And then uh, top right, we've got uh, some objectives. We've got to locate the source of a transmission, and we've got to satisfy our hunger as well. But uh, I'm just picking up some stuff. There's a door here, but it is sealed. Uh, the graphics are pretty good on this one. I quite like it. It's got the, you know, it's a bit gray, uh, green and gloomy, but that's the whole look of it. I guess the, um, uh, this could be the pathogen, I guess. Uh, this is the door, but we need to power this one up. I'm assuming that's what's making the green uh, sky the sky look green, but I could be wrong on that one. So we've got a scanner now, so we'll use that to scan various items, which we will get to in a minute. Uh, we can scan that over there, for instance. If you scan something, it'll then tell you what you can do with it. So metal scaffolding, we can use an extractor, which we'll get later on. And then we can take that apart with um, and get metal from it. So that's good. Let's grab the can of water there. Let's open this up. Grab the synthetics. Let's read this next one. It's all gone to hell. Uh, everything's been screwed up since we found that damn virus. Uh, we're all getting sick. Equipment is breaking down. And then there's the, this Noah situation. The power, boot, power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible um, battery. So that's what we need to open up the... Um, open up the door there let's grab the synthetic so it seems like metal glass and synthetics are going to be your three main uh sort of resources so let's go there where was the there's the stairs there we go let's get up there let's scan this as well i think that was glass yeah so we can get glass from that as well and then we can scan this body as well this is one of the expedition members so that's the navigator his uh, mission was to map out the directions and find resources even this far from home. Uh, these things, I'm going to pick them, but I ate one and I got sick So uh, when I played it. So 
yeah, not sure whether I actually want to eat those, but um, we'll at least take them for now. Let's take the battery out of there. It's all good. I think that's pretty well much everything else. Yeah, scan that. That's glass. Let's jump down here. And we can put the battery in there and power the door up. There we go. And then we can actually look at the laptop as well. Undelivered message. No, it went crazy. That bastard stole the sample and our airship. The radio doesn't work. That's probably his doing too. We're stuck here. We're sick and we can't work. Uh, if we uh, had known what about what awaits us beneath the duster, we would never have gone. Ooh. I, did, I think I did see in the trailer there was like some monsters or something. There's something down below, but um, whether we get to that in this demo, I'm not too sure. Uh, forever reads this. Uh, find Noah, his doodling, uh, these signs everywhere. Easy to spot, be careful, he's dangerous as all hell. Okay, so Nate, Noah doesn't seem like a good person. Our uh, hunger and thirst is going down. We may have to eat one of those things, but I really don't want to do that. I'll say I got sick last time I did. Let's grab that, let's grab that. Grab the first aid kit. Grab all this uh, debris and that sort of thing. Uh, let's scan you. Scan this poor bastard. There we go. Biologist. Uh, his job was to collect and study biological samples. And then we've got a pad here. So it's all because of this damn dust. Noah heard voices. Uh, he was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He said he knew what to do, how we could uh, return to Earth again. Uh, he wanted us to help help him to follow the voices in his head, a lunatic. Uh, we locked him in a cell for his own good, but the bastard hid the extractor and ran off with everything because we everyone slept. Um, yeah, there we go. So those are the doodles on the wall by the looks of it. Can we scan those? Oh, there we go. I never actually scanned those. So Noah's drawings from when he was uh, locked in the cell by his fellow expeditioners. Uh, humanity, technology and nature combined to blend together in these paintings. Ah, yeah. Ah, we can't scan those, that's fine. Right, let's continue on, because I think we've got most... What was that? I was just... I could scan something then. Anyway, let's keep on going. Let's go up there. And then there's the airship. And um, we can... I'm not sure whether we can expand that, but we can certainly build in it. So, uh, let's go. That's water. We definitely don't want that. It's dirty water. We can drink it, but I got sick. So... Uh, let's take the bottles and we'll put some bottles of water down. Scan these things and I think these give us synthetics. Yeah, synthetic. And I think this one was metal. Yep, yeah, metal. And then these sort of giant balls of rubbish we can scan as well and we can actually uh, use them as well. Let's see if I can scan that one. Oh, they're. Alright, I guess there's wind currents or something, but. I did manage to extract some synthetics, I think, from these, so, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, there you go, synthetics, you can uh, extract things from these, so let's grab some more of those, grab all the rest of the loot that's around here, grab all of that, grab all of that, that's good, I think I've scanned pretty much everything, let's read the data pad here, so, airship to-do list, I've been building a new airship for two months since that bastard's got away with our equipment, if uh, only my workshop hadn't collapsed, I would have already had the engine. Okay, so, yeah. So, the next objective, we've got to satisfy our hunger. We'll have to do that in a minute. Uh, depart the location, place the fabricator. So, let's pick up the fabricator. And we're going to put it in here. Um, yeah, there we go. That's cool. Fabricate the deck extractor. That's the next thing to do. So, we're going to turn the metals there. I'll do some... Uh, It'll turn that Printing scrap completed. into metal. There we go. And then we can... I think it's this one. We can then make this deck extractor. Which will then make that. Uh, yeah. Completed. Let's come over here and we'll just grab a few. Do a bit of looting. First aid kit. Ah, some old food. That's good because we are getting a little bit. Let's eat that food. Let's say I got sick. Uh, the stuff does go off as well and go bad. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to eat the old food ration for now. We'll drink that drink. There we go. We've satisfied our hunger as well. Let's come over here and we'll pick up this extractor. And then this is pretty cool. Uh, this here is our... We can sort of walk around this and add things to it. Um, I don't know whether we'll be able to expand that. I'm assuming eventually you'll be able to expand that once the game comes out. We put this deck extractor down and then we can get on it and harvest these materials. 
So like that scaffold that we saw earlier, we could then fly along the side that and harvest it for like metal and that sort of thing, which I think was pretty cool. Ooh, that. That as well gives you a, I think those, those give you metal. The other ones that I scanned give you synthetics, I think. So um, yeah, pretty cool. I kind of like this one. I think it's got some potential. There we go. Let's get that. Get all the glass and everything as well. I don't know whether we need the glass, but we'll definitely take it with us. Can't hurt, can it? There we go. Harvest all that. I harvest all the synthetics as well. Take that. So I think there's fruit up there as well. We'll go and uh, get that in a minute. Uh, we need to open the workshop, which is behind this. Uh, behind all this so we'll clear it all out and then we need to scan the engine next um, I'd say once you leave this place the demo has a 20 minute timer that starts ticking down so you know but that's fine so search the workshop or scan the engine let's come in here crouch down grab that we'll grab oh there's a cooker there well, let's read the date let's grab all the loot first before we do anything else we've got to loot everything make sure there's not a scrap left Take the data. Oh, new blueprint engine, synthetic fuel as well. Let's grab the cooker. It's going to be handy. We'll take that back and put that in here. And then we'll go there, like so. And then we'll scan this thing. Scan that. No longer usable since all the key components are visible. Yeah, okay, that's good. So now we need to build the engine. And uh, I don't know whether I have the stuff for that just yet. I may not. Uh, engine. I can make some synthetic fuel. Okay, well that's good. I uh, don't quite have enough synthetics. Let's make some fuel because I'm going to need it. So let's make that and we'll come in here and loot a little Printing bit more. Completed. Though my inventory is full. Okay. Uh, well, we may as well just drink that. Damn. Yeah, but I need some kind of... Uh, box to put my uh, stuff in I think uh, we can go up on the top anyway let's go up there next uh, there we are it's good, there's all this um, water about as well but um, I don't really want to drink it ooh, can we scan you? yes we can who's this? engineer's body, he was in charge of operating and maintaining equipment Designed devices and adapted the resources and components he found for use. Yeah, so I guess he was the one that was making that. Fair enough. And then we do have some plants over here. Oh, can I scan that? Oh, there we go. Lobster chili. Edible threat dehydration. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay, I need, I need some kind of... Uh, somewhere to dump all my stuff off, basically. Alright. I don't think blueprints I don't think I can make any kind of like storage or anything uh, water condenser water purifier all that stuff would be pretty good let's take the oh crap all right all right I'm gonna dump these things on the floor I say I ate one and I got poison so I'm gonna I'm gonna just take them as bad there we go <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have to try and harvest some of that stuff if we can. There we go. Oh, we got me some synthetics. Wow, this thing's got a long range, hasn't it? There we go. Yeah, I got stuck last time, and I was like, "How do I do anything? How do I do this?" <laughs> but uh, yeah, then I harvested this stuff, and I was okay. There we go. Right. Then let's make the engine next. So we come here, we'll start making that engine. Takes a bit of time to make it. Uh, that's all good. Uh, let's go and pick those fruits that we can pick. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Come over here. Yeah, I really like the look of this one. Got some good potential, this one. There's a load of food as well, a load of water. I'm thinking we probably want to make some bottles or something and just take it with us. I think that's probably a good idea. Although, as I say, it only lasts 20 minutes, so, you know probably not worth it but I'd like to do it anyway uh, eventually full should we eat that takes our food and energy gives us food and energy but takes some water away yeah might as well let's take it with us why not food's gonna go bad though again but there we are right 
let's drop. Printing completed. Uh, let's, we could actually heal ourselves because we're a little bit injured. There we go. And then let's take the engine, and now we've got to strap the engine to this thing. Thinking like just on the side. Hmm, where can I put this? So I'm going to need to be able to walk around, aren't I? So about there. And can I walk under that? Yeah, there we go. It's kind of crappy, but there we go. That's all good. So refuel the engine. I have the fuel. Already made it. There we go. Let's refuel the engine. I think we probably want some more. Uh, I quite like to make uh, like a water purifier. I kind of want to make that in an empty bottle. But at least do the water purifier and then we can purify our own water. But as I say, we've only got 20 minutes when we leave, so it's probably not worth it. But still, I want to do it anyway. Just because why not? Uh, ooh, we might as well harvest some resources whilst the stuff's blowing about. Just Printing all the plastic, completed. I guess. There we go. Anything else? Yeah, I kind of want synthetics more than anything. There we are. We'll take some water with us, but I think we'll be okay, to be honest. But There we go. Right, so... Oh, that goes on the wall. Nice. And then dirty water. There we are. Purification is in process. Nice. That's cool. Did I get those bottles back? Empty bottle. Oh, well. I might not need another bottle then. Fill that up. There we go. Can we drop more in there? Oh, do you know what? I've got a bottle full of, wa em of dirty water, haven't I? So, yeah. You know I'm going to get some more synthetics because I'm going to need more fuel. Because uh, I, I didn't go that far and I ran out of fuel. So, when I tried it. So, let's grab some of that. Although we could just, you know, harvest on the way, couldn't we? So, there we go. Grab that. Make sure that I start making some. Oh, hang on. I'm going to turn around. There we are. Grab that. And I'm going to start making some fuel and then let's get out of here, I think. Uh, where was the. There was some more water. There we are. There's some more water there. There we go. Let's fill that up. Clean water bottle. There we go. So I've got a bottle of clean water and I've got a bottle of dirty water and I can put that in there. And then if I fill that up, I get some more. Do you know what? I know it's a big waste of time, but I'm going up to just gonna go upstairs and do it. It's only 20 minutes, but damn, I'm liking this game. There we go. Let's leave it to that anyway. Let's put that in there. There we go. Right. Let's close the old door. If we can. I think I can close the door, right? Ah, there we go. Let's close the door and then let's get moving. We are ready to depart from this location. And just was sad to basically move about. Space takes you up and down, or takes you up, and I think it's control takes you down. So, see a max altitude and that. Let's go along. Oh, does that stuff get out of our way? Oh no. Welcome to Forever Skies. You are now flying uh, into the dust wastelands. In this sandbox, you will uh, visit new locations, invest, investigate light sources. Ah, that's what that light source is up ahead. Fair enough. Collect resources and expand your airship. Uh, the gameplay has a time time limit displayed in the corner. Yeah, so uh, from this point, the save system works. You can uh, interrupt the game at any time and can continue later. So, yeah. So, yeah, there's a demo time limit in the corner. Um, is that thing going to get out of my way? Yeah, hopefully it does. It's all cool. So, I'm assuming then we've got to... We've got like a fuel meter. I'm going to guess that's that uh, bar above our speed. So if we go down, oh, hang on, low altitude, can we go up? Uh, oh, shift to go up, sorry, I thought it was space, never mind, there we go, oh, we're too low. Let's see, I think that's the maximum height that we can go at the moment. I'm seeing those beacons, I'm assuming that's where we need to go, so... Uh, let's let's try and make it to one of those beacons, if we can. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Subnautica as well, actually. So there we go. I got maximum height already. So let's just keep on going. Um, yeah, that looks 
that beacon there. Let's go to that. That looks like what we're going to. Yeah, really cool. I like this one, but damn. Yep, Earth is not... Ooh, is that... Is that birds or is that like insects or something? I don't know. Oh man, this doesn't look very appealing, does it? It's like some kind of death trap here. Build the build tool. Okay, well... Let's, let's just get here and... No. Let's try and land on this pad. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good, actually. Ooh, is that water? So, do we have to actually land this thing? Like, do I need to go down? Calories level is decreasing. Okay, there we go. That's good. Um, I guess we eat this stuff. Risk. And then we drink the water. I'm actually kind of glad that I made that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad that I made this water purifier. So, there we go. That's good. Uh, synthetic fuel as well. We'll need that. Let's open this up. So, uh, we can pick that thing up as well. And uh, the extractor and move things about. So, found this here. Got a plant. I don't want to fall off though. Kind of in worried I'm going to fall off. Okay, that looks like the way to go. Can we go up at all? Ah, looks like we can go up by the looks of it. Should we go up? Let's go up. Assuming we can fall off. But I don't know for that for certain, but I'm going to guess we can. Open our battery. That's good. So I guess that's disabled the beacon, and then can we go up there again? Yes, we can. Yeah, I'm digging this game so far. This looks pretty good to me. Uh, I don't know when 2022, but um, yeah, I'm down for playing it. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm down for it. Uh, yeah, I don't see much up here. Let's move on. Ah, there is water though. We'll definitely take the dirty water. There we go. That is going to be useful. Just jump down. Boom. There we go. We can. We can. There we are. Let's go. Oh, this looks a bit more promising, doesn't it? Ah, I wonder if I perhaps should have gone a bit lower. Let's scavenge up some of this stuff. Ah, it's just like a big... I was thinking it was rocks, but it's a big trash pile, isn't it? Take all the dirty water. I don't necessarily want... I say, they, they made me ill, so I don't necessarily want those things, but there we go. I guess we'll take them. We scanned this already. Yep, it's glass. Can I get in there? There we go. Take data card. So I've learnt turbine. Ooh. Isotonic drink. Ooh. I kind of want that. Oh, small storage crate. Oh, that's that's the one we want. That is what we want. Can I get out? There we go. Is might more okay, my immunity is decreasing. That's not good. Oh, is that what the energy thing is? That might be what the energy thing is. But yes, a storage box. Oh, God, come on. There we go. Storage box. Absolutely, I need that. Absolutely. Totally need that. Put that like there. There we go. Open. Oh, yeah, it's only four slots, but hey ho, we will take it. Um, let's put the med kits in. Solid state battery, and I don't know if that can. You know, I wonder if that um, put dirty water in. There we are. Yeah, I wonder if that goes off a little slower or something. I don't suppose it does. All right, let's go back down there again. I won't try not to spend too long here, but um, yeah, I'm a loot hoarder, so <laughs> that uh, that may be may, we may spend a bit too long at some of these places. We'll see. Ah, that's open. Synthetic debris, drink as well. Open that. Let's drink the canned water. I'm gonna have to eat one of these things. Ooh. Ooh, maybe... Oh, they're like... Insects or something? They did say something about capturing insects, didn't they? So... Oh! A picture frame! 
Hello. Oh, do you know what? Oh, there, was a, there was one back at the other place that I found. Oh, damn it, I forgot that. Uh, yeah, there was a picture on the wall in uh, one of the places that we'd uh, where we'd just been. Oh, well. I missed it. Right. Well, we've got to make it look good, haven't we? Let's make it homely. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but there we are. Um, I think we'll just... Oh, that's out of range. Oh, damn. Kind of out of the flow. I was just thinking this thing had, like, massive range, but... Obviously it doesn't. Right, anyway. Let's, let's just get moving, shall we? Ooh, do you know what? Take the synthetic fuel. Let's refuel that thing first. Close the doors. Let's get on this. Let's go up. And then... Well, there's a beacon straight ahead, isn't there? Let's just go for that one next. We've got 12 minutes left, so... Uh, you know, uh, we could try and harvest one of those... Yeah, let's do that. Let's try and harvest one of this uh, scaffolding as we go by it. Let's try and do that. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? I should probably have set some... Uh, set some more um, fuel off to be made. Uh, synthetics is definitely... Uh, is it raining? Oh, cool, it's raining. Okay, nice. All right, let's get out. Get on this thing. Oh, yeah, I like this game. This is good. I like it. That's good. And then I'm going to make some more synthetic fuel. Uh, oh, there's a turbine as well. Printing completed. Okay, well, oh man. I can't see anything. It's peeing it down. Okay, I wonder if I can put two engines on and make it go faster. Oh, something's gone rotten. Alright, ah, another one. Ooh, what's that up there? Little little house or something. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Okay, how do I increase my immunity? I guess that's the top one, right? Hmm. I think we can sleep, but obviously I'm not gonna do that because yeah, we got like we got like eleven minutes left, so I'm not too worried about sleeping. Let's go and drop the altitude down. Get out. Take some more fuel. We want the turbine. Enhances maximum flight altitude. Oh! So I need a solid battery, which I have, and I need more synthetics. Oh, well, let's just quickly see if we're going to harvest some synthetics. Oh, that's metal. There we go. And then I've got a battery in there. That should be enough to make the turbine. There we are. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, I don't know if I want rotten food, but never mind. Uh, let's put... Let's put the ice tonic drink away. For now. Ooh, that does look like... does look like that. I wonder if we can... If I put water... Maybe if I boil that thing... Yeah, that seems to have stopped it uh, decaying, doesn't it? Let's go boil. Let's do that, shall we? Right. Let's see whether that stops it from uh, poisoning you or anything like that. Yeah, I like this. I like this game. I think this is a good game. It's got some potential here. Let's go there. Synthetics. Printing completed. Okay, let's go up there. See what we can find from here. Uh -huh, what's in there? That's that side. It's another one of those batteries, isn't it? Yep. And we got some cabinets to look in. Ooh, a lantern. Hello. Can I just put that in my inventory? I'll have to go back to the. That'd be kind of nice. Let's just jump down. Let's take the fast way down. Well, at least we can see at night now. That'll be good. Uh, I'll just put that there for the moment. 
We've got the turbine. Ooh. Okay, where the hell do we put this thing? Place on the airship. Um, Alright, let's stand back. Do I have to place it inside or Oh man, this is a this is a monster, this thing. Could put it on this side, I guess. Just went blue then for a second. Alright, that is that is a bit of a whopper, but never mind. Ah. Let's take So boiled melon. So that should that might sort of um, stop that from uh, poisoning me, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, hang on, what's going on here? Oh, it's a plummet storm. Alright, never mind. Right, there we go. I'll just turn that down a bit because it's a little bit loud. Uh, we've got to fly above 245 meters, so. I guess we could do that. I've only got seven minutes left, so we'll start doing that in a minute. Come on. Yeah, I, I'm not sure whether that was a good spot for that, but never mind. <laughs> we'll go with it. Uh, oh, I'd assume these will just fill up with dirty water, right? Oh! Can we just get hit by lightning? I don't know. I don't think so. Shut that down. No. There might not have been anything else up here, might there? Oh no. The isotonic, take a, take a data card. There we go. Small storage box. Ah, there we are. Seems like there was something here for, uh, each time just to get a bit more, uh, you know, get some more uh, schematics or something. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Right. Let's just jump down and we'll ignore that. Right. Let's fly above 245 meters if we can. Just go and do that. Close the door. Get on this. And let's go above 245 meters if possible. There we go. Cool. Yeah, fly above fly above the dust. Build the tool. Ooh, we haven't actually built that, did we? Alright. Um Desk, bed, storage, uh, build tool, so I need metals. I had a bunch of those, that's fine. Printing completed. And then can I now make the build tool? There we can. There we go. Cool. Right, let's continue moving. We've got five minutes left, so let's continue on our journey. Where is it? Ooh. Oh man, this game looks good. I like it. I like this one. This one speaks to me. I don't like the look of these swarms of like I don't know, look like butterflies or moths or something, but locusts maybe? Yeah, no butterflies? I'd say they're butterflies. But yeah. Uh don't really see anything else. I guess we'll try and head for that beacon, I guess. Can I keep going up, by the way? Yes I can. A little bit more. I'm seeing a beacon over there. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it. I've only got five minutes left, but still. So I made the build tool. Build a room and three catwalks. Ooh. Okay, how do I do that? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Build menu, room. Oh man, the engine's there. Damn it. Alright, I gotta take the engine off. Uh, turn off. Can I take it down? Huh. Removal mode. Pick up. Oh, there we go. I'll stick it on the side there for a minute. And then, yeah, I'm starving, but hey ho. Okay, room. Oh, gotta remove the catwalk? Oh. Okay, alright. Removal mode. So, let's remove that. And then let's go build. Oh man, this is a good game. Yep, this is a good game, alright. So, and then we could build a small cockpit. We could build another room, but I don't have enough synthetics. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. There's like three minutes left. 
but it's building on offer. I want to do some building. Printing completed. Can we just make a second room? Oh. Yeah, there we go. And then can we make metal wall, metal door, so I could put a door on. Not enough resources, but still. And then railing, short railings, and a catwalk. Oh, damn, this is a good game. This is a good game. That is good. I like that. Printing completed. Yeah, we've got two minutes left, three minutes left. There we go. Catwalk. So build three catwalks. There we go, I've done that. Yeah. So can I build? Oh, I'm out, but that's it. I've finished. Okay, alright, let's continue on. We'll just leave the door open. Yeah, this is a really good game. I really like this one. I will definitely cover this one when it comes out. Oh, I need to fuel the I need to fuel the thing, don't I? That's probably a better spot for it, actually. Ooh, I never noticed that, actually. There we go. Yeah, definitely going to cover this one. This is a good game. I like it. I like this one a lot. So, yeah, really all we've got is two minutes. Can I access my... Yeah, there we go. I've got, like, two minutes left. Um... I guess we'll drink that. That gives us some energy back. Uh, what we don't have is food. Yeah, I don't have any food, so I could drink. I could eat that, I guess. But yeah, that's about all I've got. Have I got any? That's metal, synthetics. Yeah, uh, some kind of um, uh, like farm or something would be good. But uh, yeah, this is. We've got a minute left. I'm going to try and get to that uh, beacon if I can, but uh, the old uh, girl doesn't go that quick. I wonder if we put an extra engine on. I'm assuming it would go quicker than that, right? That would be my guess, but uh, yeah. Probably should have built that uh, build tool a bit earlier, but uh, there we go. Got sidetracked by all the shiny stuff. So there we go, 59 seconds left. I'm just going to let it ride out, and um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. I'm about to die of starvation soon anyway, but... Uh, you never know, we might find something aboard this one. So yeah, we've kind of got above the dust. I like that. I'm assuming eventually we can go... There's going to be areas that we can actually land. And like... Oh, look at that. The lever and the lever's in the middle when you go up. Lever's on the handles like you're moving them down. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming there's somewhere we're going to be able to land and walk around on the surface at some point as well. It kind of seemed to say, suggest that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we did some building. I, I really like this one. I don't know what you guys think to it. Let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, go wishlist it as well. It does help out the developers. These little indie games. Ten seconds left. Can we just land? There we go. I think I might have... Is that landed or is that damaged? I'm not sure. There we go. It's ended. When designing the world of Forever Skies, our goal was simple. Create a world of wonder and curiosity. Ruined. A place forever lost. A unique journey for each and every player. Full of mysteries and challenges. Where science is the key to survive. What remnants from the past will you discover reaching out of the clouds? Welcome to Forever Skies. So 
So there we go. Yeah, coming it says 2022. Uh, I've already wish listed it myself, but I uh, hope you guys uh, like that one. So as I say, I think for now, this is where we're going to call it though, and we'll end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.